So these two kids get into a fight. They start throwing punches. The one kid goes for a double underhook and manages to get it a little bit high, but he manages to get it. And instead of sprawling, getting his hips heavy, trying to frame, the dude literally just grabs the back of the guy's head. Doesn't really do anything, obviously, from there. So what happens? The dude picks him up, slams him on the concrete, cracks his head open, um, and then he gets pummeled with punches. So uh, let's fix this. <clears throat> now we've talked about this numerous times when it comes into like getting these underhooks, right? And really the only reason that somebody gets double underhooks is to pick you up, slam you, or for whatever reason, if he wants to work and get off to the back. But in this situation, as I mentioned, the kid right away just kind of locks onto the head. And we have to understand that in order to really defend any sort of takedown, as we mentioned uh, in one of our previous videos, we have to have some form of ability to sprawl or at least start getting heavy on our hips. So the moment that these grips come in, the first thing I wanna do is start getting heavy. Because again, I know he's gonna try to pick me up. And if I'm dead weight or fighting into him, I'm essentially loading myself up. So when he gets these grips, I should right away start getting hips heavy. Now, we have two options on how we can get out of here. The first one's gonna be based off framing. So what I wanna do is start right away just posting and pushing off on his face as much as I can, trying to get his head going in any other direction but facing me. And as I'm doing all this, I'm also gonna start working my hips out as much as possible. Now, I know that in this situation, this individual is gonna be doing everything they can to suck me back in, right? So I have to make sure that I have a firm frame, ideally on somewhat of like a 45 degree, right? If I have my elbow uh, or my arm too bent, he's gonna be able to just head pressure his way back in and now I have an arm stuck. So I have to make sure that when we're doing these frames, strike this, especially if we're talking self-defense, right? Drive this hand in, get a nice good frame, post with your other hand if you need to. Now, if he tries to pull me in, as I'm getting heavy and moving my hips back, I'm able to start creating space. Now, from here again, depending on the reactions, we're gonna have options. If he's still drastically trying to hold onto this grip and I'm not really able to break it, I'm gonna utilize these pockets to just enter. So at this point, I can release the frame, knowing he's gonna pull me back in, and as he does, I now just re-gripped. Now I have a underhook. He's only got necessarily, potentially even one underhook, if that and I can start locking up, and now we just turn the tables, I'm in a better position to control things. Other option is if we get here and the grip does break, we're gonna kind of be in a little bit of a gray area because we're both essentially in like a neutral position. Now, even with the grip broken, I can still re-enter, I can tie back up again, and I can control the situation from there, but I may not always wanna do that. I may want to exit, but I don't just necessarily wanna get here and let go because this guy may just start kind of swinging punches at me as we're kind of exiting out, or he may use this as an opportunity to kind of brush that hand off, reshoot, come back in, whatever the case is. So if I'm exiting from the clinch, I still need to apply damage on the way out. We can do that with a lot of different ways, right? If we go back, go ahead, grab a bit, right? If I get these frames in here, as these frames are breaking, I still have good framework, depending on how my hand is, I can use that to grab the head. I can drop knees if I need to, I can drop elbows if I need to, I can literally let go and just explode into them with punches a little bit and then work my way out. But it's just a general idea that as I'm exiting the clinch, I still have to apply damage as much as possible because I'm still trying to win the fight per se, um, but be able to create space clearly to the point where once we do distance ourselves, he's stunned, he stays, that might be my opportunity to get the hell out of there. Or again, depending on circumstances, if I do need to utilize any sort of weapon, I have the ability to. Now, you do have the option to reverse the position as a whole and actually take this person down. But in order to do this, I have to successfully clamp my hands to my side and I still do need to get heavy in my hips, right? I can't just do this because it's got these high grips. So again, I have to be able to understand what the clinch is, right? And me just holding on isn't a good answer for any clinch situation. So it's either I'm gonna start framing or I'm going to bite down on these arms, still get heavy on my hips, and now what I want to do is essentially if I'm looking to take him down this way because this is where my head's at, right? If my head's on the other side, clearly go that way. But if my head's here, I'm going to be trapping the same arm once I'm ready. And my opposite arm, as I step through, is going to be looking to come and circle the head and we're going to do hip toss. Now, I don't want to just do this from here and turn and throw because if I don't get a good angle, if I don't get the good pressure, I just handed the person my back. So I'm going to bait them a little bit. Once we've locked down, I'm going to start circling out a little bit knowing that he's probably going to try to circle back the other way. And as I feel that resistance, again, I'm locking the arm, I'm hooking the head, and we come straight down to the ground. Now, the beauty of doing hip tosses and stuff like this, I'm not really putting myself in any danger um, per se when it comes to like the landing, right? Like my knees aren't hitting the concrete, anything along those lines. He's gonna get slammed to the ground. Um, hopefully I'm not slamming his head because again, we do have to understand the circumstances for that. But from this position, again, I don't necessarily wanna just hang out here. I can easily just right away turn, get into some form of like side control position. I can go to mount. I can easily just adjust wherever I need to go from there. At the end of the day, anytime somebody gets underhooks on you, um, or essentially like a bear grab in general, right? I have to get heavy on my hips. If we're talking just underhooks, Right away, I need to start either framing or trapping the arms, one or the other. I need to get my hips down regardless. Start working your hips out a little bit, just again, to keep myself in balance. And then from here, 
I can hit the reverse takedown if I want to. I can start framing, re-pummel, and come back in. Or we can frame, and then as we're exiting the clinch, we drop all our strikes, and we get the hell out of there. Give it a shot, stay safe.